everyone, welcome. Welcome back to another evening of praying another powerful name of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering us together from across the world as we continue praying your wonderful names. We thank you for the ones prayed so far. And we thank you for the one we are going to pray tonight and for the one we are going to pray tomorrow night. We need the anointing of your spirit to be upon this program tonight. I pray you will anoint me to lead and you will anoint your people also to pray. Let's walk away from this place blessed by your mighty power. We'll surely be grateful and will express it at the end of the program. Thank you in advance for what you have done. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. And amen. This time we are praying about the name Jehovah Sabaoth. That's the name we're praying about. Jehovah Sabbath. I plead with you not to miss any of this series because I know for a fact that they will strengthen your faith in God and open your eyes to see who he is to you as his child. I would like to suggest also that you go to the podcast and download the app to your smartphone or to your computer for future personal prayers so you can download all these episodes, especially the episodes on the names of God. These are prayers that one should be praying over and over and over again. Please do your friends a favor tonight by sharing with them the link that you are listening to us on. Jehovah Sabaoth. That name of God occurs more than 270 times in the Old Testament alone. It appears nearly 80 times in the book of Jeremiah, 14 times in the two short chapters of Haggai, nearly 50 times in the book of Zechariah and 25 times in Malachi. The name Sabbath is found twice in the New Testament. What it simply does is it combines God's personal name, Jehovah, with the Hebrew word Sabbath, meaning host or multitude. Yes. So Jehovah Sabbath means the Lord of hosts or the Lord of multitude. Well, let's stick with the mostly used name, the Lord of hosts. Sabbath often has a military connotation such as a group of fighting men or an army. That's what Sabaoth means. Sometimes Sabaoth refers to the hosts of heaven, picturing God as Lord over the multitudes of angels which are numbered as a thousand thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand. That's what is written in the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 10. Sabaoth is also used to describe the innumerable stars in the night sky in Psalm 33, verse 6, Psalm 103, verses 20 and 21. This military name of God, Hos, it comes from a Hebrew word which means to wage war. That's what it is, to wage war. So what it says is the Lord of hosts 
It means he is the commander of the hosts of heaven. The hosts of heaven are the angels which surround his throne. His hosts are the angels that he sends on errands to protect his servants, to protect his children. His hosts are also the natural forces. Thunder, rain, hail, earthquake, flame, and fire. As Isaiah said in chapter 29, in verse number 6, it says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder, with earthquake, with a great noise, with storm and tempest, and a flame of devouring fire. So when you see someone praying warfare prayers, and they are sending out thunder, and they are sending out earthquake, they are sending out great noise and storm and tempest and flame and fire, they actually are praying in line with the Word of God, because that's what God does as the Lord God of hosts. It is incredible that we are able to have a personal knowledge and confidence in this Lord of hosts. Isn't it wonderful to know that nothing is outside his control and nothing is outside his capability? His resources are limitless. So you got the mighty one behind you. I don't care what war you have to fight. You got the Lord of hosts on your side, Jehovah Sabaoth. The important thing about the name for God called Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, is that his armies, his angels, his stars are all there, and he, as the Lord of hosts, rule over all things, both on earth and in heaven. The first time Jehovah Sabaoth appears in the Bible actually is in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 3 and verse 11. But I'm going to read verse 11. This is the story of a childless woman who wanted a son so badly and honestly prayed that the Lord will grant her the desire of her heart. She prayed a prayer using that powerful name, the Lord of hosts, in 1 Samuel chapter 1, in verse 11. Let me read it to you. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou will indeed look on the affliction of thy handmaid, and remember me, and not forget thy handmaid, but will give unto thy handmaid a man child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. You know, when I read that scripture, I just smile. You know, I just wonder, this is me now, I just wonder if the barrenness of Hannah is not connected to some type of warfare. Just wondering. You know why I came up with that? Maybe that is why she used the name Jehovah Sabbath, Lord of hosts, because that's a name that is often connected to warfare. When we get to heaven, we'll find out. Remind me if I forget. I want to go and ask Hannah, was your delay as a result of some warfare? Is that why you pray that prayer, Lord of hosts? We'll find out when we get there. The mighty Lord of hosts summoned his warring hosts, and in his might, he delivered the answer to Hannah. And I don't care what delay you have in your life. You can learn from Hannah and call upon the Lord of hosts. Hannah's story tells us something very important. It tells us that although God is indeed the Lord of all the multitudes of the earth, in heaven he is also the Lord of every individual person who comes to him, weary, delayed,
tired and of course in need of a blessing. So here we go, people, in your darkest hour, the Almighty Lord of hosts will hear you when you pray. He will comfort you as if you were the only person on earth in need of his attention. Your troubles are never too small for him to notice. That was what he did for Anna. But you realize that Jesus also was identified as Jehovah Sabaoth by Isaiah in chapter 47 in verse number 4. Let me read it to you. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Who is the Redeemer? We all know that's referring to Jesus Christ and is also referred to as the Lord of hosts. This name of God emphasizes his power and it also emphasizes his authority over the multitudes of earth and heaven. And when Jesus came to the earth to redeem us, he repeatedly demonstrated that power over the forces of sin. There are other encouraging scriptures about this name. Let me read two or three of them to you. In Romans chapter 9 verse 29, Paul was quoting Isaiah, and as Isaiah said before, except the Lord of Sabaoth had left us a seed, we have been a Sodom and have been a Gomorrah. And that means that this Lord of hosts can save you from going through what Sodom and Gomorrah went through. That is so beautiful. In James chapter 5 verse 4, Behold the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabbath. Now that means that if you take advantage of somebody and they cry to him using this name, God is going to rise up for them and do something about them being taken advantage of. I love what David said in 1 Chronicles chapter 11 verse 9. So David, the Bible tells us, waxed greater and greater. He waxed greater and greater for the Lord of hosts was with him. If you want to wax greater and greater spiritually, materially, and otherwise, then you need to cry unto the Lord of hosts to help you to be greater than who you are right now. It is in this name also that young David did a number on Goliath and the challenge of Goliath against him. Remember what David said to the Philistine? David said, you come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom ye have defiled. So you see, God can be called on in time of warfare. Whatever power is standing before you, no matter how strong, no matter how mighty you are, all you need to do is call on the Lord of hosts, and you'll see Goliath fall down flat before you. Let me close with what the psalmist said about Jehovah Sabbath in Psalm 84, verse 8, verse 9, and one or two other verses. Look at what it says at first. It says, O Lord God of hosts, David said in Psalm 84, verse 8, hear my prayer, give ear, O God of Jacob. That will be our cry tonight, that Lord of hosts, Hear our prayer. Lord of hosts, give ear to our prayers. God of Jacob, do something about what we have come to cry to you about. That's what we are doing tonight because that was what David did and he got the victories that he got. Now look at what he said in verse 9. Behold, O God, our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed. And that's who God is. He has many anointed in the world. 
but he singles us out one by one and he pays attention to each and every one of us. The Lord of hosts who is so big but is not too big to pay attention to us as individuals. Won't you love this verse 12? I love this one. It says, O Lord of hosts again, blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. That's the key verse. And that's the last verse I'm going to read before we go to prayer, to pray today. He said, O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. Why would he be blessed? He's trusting in the Almighty. He's trusting in the great God who is the great warrior. He's trusting in the consuming fire that is able to consume anything that stands in the way of his children. Blessed is that man. Blessed is that woman that put their trust in him. And I want to say to you that are watching me or that are listening to us right now, let your trust be in God even as we pray to him. I pray that God will quicken your faith to trust in that name, even as we pray tonight. I hope you are ready to pray. If you are ready to pray, God is ready to answer. Let's go before God with thanksgiving like we always do. Let's thank him for allowing us to be part of the prayers of tonight. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we honor you. We glorify your name for giving us the opportunity to be part of these prayers of tonight. I want you to give him praise, give him glory, give him honor, give him dominion, give him majesty. Thank God, thank God for allowing us to be part of this prayer meeting tonight. Thank him for being with us since Friday when we left this place. Glory to God. Oh, he blessed us with the name we considered on Thursday, and then he blessed us again with the name we considered on Friday. And here we are again, Jehovah Sabbath. God is going to bless us even as we pray. Thank God for being with us since the time we broke from this place. Now we are assembled together, and every one of us is complete. None of us is missing. Father, I will give you praise for that. Father, I will give you honor for that. Father, I will give you glory. We will give you dominion. We will give you majesty. Thank him, oh, for leading us to pray about his meaningful names. I don't even know how I came up with this idea. And I believe it was an idea from the Spirit of the living God to just pray about the meaningful names of God. All of them are meaningful. And we're going to pray until we cover all the names of God. I want to say, Lord, we thank you because great things are going to happen in our lives as a result of this prayer that we're going to pray on the names of God. Thank him for the impact that these names have already had on your faith. Thank God for the impact that the rest of them that we are going to pray will even have on your faith. Father, we bless you for that. We thank you because these names and the prayers that we pray concerning them are going to help our lives. They are going to transform our lives. They are going to change our lives. I want you to bless his name. I want you to worship him. I want you to thank him for the impact that these names are going to have on your prayer life, are going to have on your faith, and are going to have on your life. Father, I bless you. Father, I worship you. Father, I adore you because something great, something good, something mighty, something wonderful is going to happen in my life as a result of praying concerning these names. Hallelujah. Thank you because uh, he will give us relevant prayer points as we pray about Jehovah's Sabbath. God is going to give us prayer points that we need tonight. I've got a lot of prayer points written down, but I, like I always say, I want the Lord's prayer point to break through my prayer points. And the ones that he doesn't want me to pray about, we'll leave it aside. I will leave them aside. I will just focus on what God knows will work for us. Let's say, Lord, have your way in these prayers tonight. Give us the prayers we need to pray. What you, What is in your mind to do for us? Give us the grace to be able to bring them before the God of heaven, the Lord of hosts in the name of Jesus. I want you to thank God for making himself the Lord of hosts over our lives. 
Father, glory be to your name, honor be to your name, dominion be to your name. Why don't you give God a praise tonight that there is no creature on earth that is not under the dominion of God. Your boss, hallelujah, is under the dominion of God. Your general overseer, your general superintendent is under the dominion of God. Your husband is under the dominion of God. Your parents are under the dominion of God. There's no creature on earth that is not under his dominion. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him glory. Come on, give him dominion and majesty. Say, Lord, I thank you because every creature on earth, under the earth, are under your dominion. You are the mighty God. Thank him because you belong to such a good God, such a great God, such a powerful God. Hallelujah. Thank him because you belong to him. You also can rule. You also can reign. You also can have dominion. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. We bless the Lord of hosts tonight. Come and raise your hand and say, we bless the Lord of hosts tonight. Father, you are the Lord of hosts and we bless you. You are the Lord of hosts and we worship you. You are the Lord of hosts and we adore you. Hallelujah. We thank you because great things are going to happen tonight, Lord of hosts. We just pray that sin and unbelief will not be able to hinder us tonight. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, if there be any sin in my heart, in my mind, in my soul, in my spirit, say, Lord, I want you to wash me. I want you to cleanse me. I want you to purge me. I want you to purify me. Any sin of omission, any sin of commission, whatever sin it is, oh God, that has a room in my heart, that has a room in my life, let the blood of Jesus Jesus, uh, let the blood of Jesus wash me. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse me. Let the blood of Jesus purify me. I want you to pray that your unbelief also will be swept out of your life. Even as we pray tonight, uh, that you'll be able to pray concentrating on the prayer in the name of Jesus. Uh, let's pray that strength will be given to everybody that is praying all across the world. Some of you are, are supposed to be sleeping now, but you've stayed awake. So we can pray together about Jehovah, the one who is the Lord of Hosts. I pray that the Lord will give you strength. We pray for strength for all of you who are supposed to be sleeping, but you are up so you can pray. May the Lord give you the strength. May the Lord give you the power. May the Lord give you the grace to be able to pray tonight. I want you to pray for yourself that God will help you to be able to focus. I want you to pray for me that God will help me to be able to focus and to be able to just pray with intensity tonight and lead you with fire, lead you with power. Lead you with anointing even as we pray together tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, O oh Lord, have your way. Have your way, O oh Lord, have your way. Have your way in this place tonight even as we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch every man, touch every woman, touch every boy, touch every girl. Let the Lord of hosts be my God. I want you to raise your hand and say, Lord of hosts, you will forever be my God in the name of Jesus. Who doesn't want to hide under the great commander? Who doesn't want the great commander to be over their lives. Say, Lord, I bless you, great commander. I bless you, O Lord, mighty warrior. We bless you, great commander. We bless you, mighty warrior. We bless you, Lord of hosts, that you are going to do great things in this place tonight, that you are going to do great things for each and every one of us. In the mighty name of Jesus, just have your way and strengthen us, O God. Have your way and empower us to be able to pray. Empower us to be able to cry unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin by praying about what David prayed on. He said, Lord of hosts, give ears to my cry. Say, O Lord of hosts, give ears to my cry tonight in the name of Jesus. Come on, open your mouth and pray. Say, Lord of hosts, come on, say, Lord of hosts, Jehovah Sabbath, give ears to my prayers tonight, O God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I hope you have got into the tune of the prayer. Let's get into it. Come on, let's get into it, people, as we pray that the Lord's Lord of hosts will hear our prayers. Say, oh Lord, don't let my prayers be returned to me unanswered. Don't let my prayers come back to me unanswered. You are the mighty God. You are the God of multitudes. And I'm one of your multitudes, oh God. I pray that you will hear my voice. Let my voice break through the clouds. Let my voice break through the ceiling. Let my voice break through the heavenlies. 
uh, and get to you and send an answer down to me, O oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Lord of hosts, hear my prayers. Lord of hosts, hear our prayers. Lord of hosts, hear our prayers. Uh, give ear to our humble cry tonight. Say, Jehovah, somehow. Uh, please give ear, please give ear, please give ear, please give ear. Come on, open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Uh, that the Lord of hosts will give ear to your humble cry tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Father, give ear to our humble cry tonight. Uh, we have asked that you will cleanse us from sin. We have asked that you will cleanse us from unbelief. Uh, so nothing should be able to stand in our way. Uh, just give ear, O oh Lord, give a listening to us, O oh God. Uh, don't let us call on you in vain, O oh Father. Hear our prayers, O oh Lord. Answer our requests, O oh Lord. Grant our petitions, O oh God of hosts. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I said, Hannah prayed. And Hannah said, Lord of hosts. I wanted to pray, say, O oh Lord, as Hannah called on you, and you opened a door for her, O oh Lord of hosts. Open closed doors for us tonight, O oh God. Open closed doors for me tonight, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. As Hannah called on God, as Hannah cried to God in the temple, and God opened the doors for her. Say, O Lord of hosts, say, Jehovah Sabbath, open the doors, O Lord, that are closed against me for me tonight. Open all closed doors in the name of Jesus. As you open the door of childbearing, O Lord, to Hannah, open the doors for me, O God. I want to begin to mention what doors you want the Lord to open for you. You may not need for you, you your need may not be for that of a child. It may be some other thing, may be to pass an exam, it may be to get married. I want you to pray tonight. The Lord of hosts has the power to open all doors. He opened it for Anna, he will open it for you too. Say, Oh Lord of hosts, I'm here tonight. Come and hear my prayers, come and answer my prayers. Has Hannah called on you and you open a door unto Hannah? Ha! Huh? Open this door to me. Mention the door you want God to open. Whatever door you want God to open for you, mention it now. Mention it now. And say, Lord, I need this door open. I need that door open. Maybe you need a visa. Maybe you need a, a, a husband. Maybe you need a wife. Maybe you need to build a house and finish the house. Say, oh, Lord of hosts, what is hard for you to do? You are the Lord over all the hosts of heaven and earth. Answer my prayer. Grant me the desires of my heart. Grant my petition that could granted the petitions of Hannah, crying on the Lord of hosts. Father, we have not come to cry on Jehovah, Jehovah Rapha tonight. No, no, no. We have not come to call on Jehovah Jireh tonight. No, no, no. We have come to call you because of who you are. You are the Jehovah Sabbath, the Lord of hosts. I want you to pray tonight. Say, my own God, Lord of hosts, as you rose up and ended years of delay for Hannah, Say, O oh Lord of hosts, rise up tonight. O oh Lord of hosts, rise up tonight and end and put an end to seasons of delay in my life. In the name of Jesus, the same power, the same anointing, the same wisdom, the same grace, the same favor, the same mercy with which you ended years of delay for Hannah. O oh Lord of hosts, arise. O oh Lord of hosts, arise and end of seasons of delay for me. End of years of delay for me. End of seasons of delay for everyone on this prayer line. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Papa put an end to seasons of delay for us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. You know what God does when he wants to fight? He summons the host of heaven and say, host of heaven, come on. There's a battle you need to fight and win for my child. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, summon them, summon them, summon them, summon them. Just repeat what I say. Say, oh Lord, summon them. Say, oh Lord, beckon on them. Say, oh Lord, call on them. All your hosts in heaven to rise up against all the hosts that are fighting my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Come on, pray, 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 pray that the Lord will call upon the hosts of heaven. They are his hosts. The Lord will call upon the 
multitudes of fighters in heaven. Let them rise up and fight against the multitude of fighters that are fighting against you, that are fighting against you. May the Lord rise up with the hosts of heaven and pull down the hosts of wickedness and pull down the hosts of witchcraft against me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and say, Armies of heaven, hey. say, Armies of heaven, arise, paralyze, arise, paralyze, Armies of heaven, arise and paralyze, Armies of heaven, arise and paralyze the forces of men, the forces of spirits that are warring against me and mine, paralyze them, paralyze them, armies of heaven, paralyze them, armies of heaven, paralyze them. Come and open your mouth and please pray, please pray, please pray, please pray that the armies of heaven, oh God, they are part of the host that fight for God. They will arise, they will fight, they will paralyze the forces of men and the forces of demons that are warring against you and warring against me. Say, armies of heaven, I'm calling on you right now. Arise and paralyze them. Arise and war against them. Arise and give us the victory over them. Say, Lord, as your name is, in the name of Jesus. I love that. Say, oh Lord, say, as your name is, get involved in all my wars. Get involved in all my battles and give me complete victory in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, according to your name, the Lord of hosts, arise right now. Get involved, oh Lord, not in some, not in many, not in most, but in all my wars, in all my battles. Father, get involved. Father, get involved and end up by giving me the victory. We have been defeated. Turn it into victory from tonight on in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ O Lord of hosts O Lord of hosts O Lord of hosts prove your name to me prove your name to my enemies prove your name to me prove your name to those who are warring against me get involved in all my wars get involved in all my battles give me the victory total victory give me the victory complete victory in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. I want you to call on God to be who he is. A doctor is always who he is. An engineer is always who she is. A nurse is always who he is. I want you to pray tonight. Lord, you are the Lord of hosts. You are the one who fights the battles of your children for them. Now, be who you are. The doctors are always being who they are. The nurses are always being who they are. The gardener is always being who the gardener is. Lord of hosts, be who you are for me. Oh Lord of hosts, be who you are for me. Take up my wars, take up my battles, take up my wars, take up my battles, and give me complete victory, give me instant victory. In the name of Jesus. You know what that psalmist said? He said, Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but I will always remember the Lord of hosts. I want you to pray, oh, say, Oh Lord, when the robber meets the road, when everything gets so tight, I will not trust in chariots. I will not trust in my horses. I will always remember the name Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts. You will be on my lips, the Lord of hosts. You will be in my heart, the Lord of hosts. You will be in my cry in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I will not trust in chariots like some people do. I will not trust in horses like some people do. Give me the grace Give me the power. Give me the anointing. Show me the mercy to always remember the name of the Lord my God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, help me never to forget your name. Don't let me go running after voodoo name. After juju name. Let me not run after the Obia name. Let me run after the name of the Lord of hosts all the time. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as your name is, get him involved in our wars as your name is. Get involved in our battles. Give us the victory in the name of Jesus. And I want you to pray that as you remember the name of the Lord, the Lord will 
remember your name also. Hallelujah. Say, oh Lord, as I remember your name, remember my name also. In the name of Jesus. Say, Heavenly Father, as I remember your name, the Lord of hosts, as I cry unto your name, the Lord of hosts. Papa, please remember my name. Papa, please remember my name. Remember my name in my wars. Remember my name in my battles. Remember my name in my struggles. Remember my name in my hustles. Remember my name in my hardships. Remember my name in my lacks. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes, I will not trust in chariots. I will not trust in horses. But I will remember the name of the Lord our God. And as I boast about your name. And as I cry concerning your name. And as I call concerning your name. Papa, remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Come and open your mouth wherever you are and call on God. Remember me in my battles. Remember me in my hustles. Remember me in my struggles. Remember me in my hardships. Remember me even during time of failure. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is the commander over multitudes of angels. You remember what Jesus Christ said, he can call for legions of angels to come down and help because they are at the bidding of the one who is the Lord of hosts. I want you to say, oh Lord, because you are the God of the angels, because you are the commander over the angels, open your mouth and pray and let the Lord know what you know. Say, oh Lord, I know. Say, oh Lord, I realize you are the God of the angels. You are the one in charge of the angels. Say, oh Lord, release them to me. Father, release them to me. Innumerable angels, numberless angels, to break all the yokes in my life, to destroy all the battles around my life. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, release your angels, your mighty seraphims, your mighty cherubims, your mighty powers, the cherubims, the cherubims and the, and the seraphims, oh Lord, and the mighty angels, even the lesser angels. Release them, release them, release them. Release them, release them, release them. Let them come in their multitudes, oh God, to break the yokes in my life. In the name of Jesus, to destroy the bodies that the enemy have placed on my shoulder. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. It was one angel, Lord, you remember. Oh, Lord of hosts. Ah! You remember when Hezekiah cried unto you, Lord, it was one angel that conquered 185,000 of the enemies of Hezekiah. Say, O oh Lord of hosts, let me receive such mercy as Hezekiah received. Let me receive it tonight. Let me receive it right now. The same mercy that Hezekiah received. Let me receive it today, O oh Lord. Health, 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 enemies. Enemies of my health. Conquer them with your angels angels for me, enemies of my finances, conquer them with your angels for me, enemies of my ministry, conquer them with your angels for me, enemies of my business, conquer them with your angels for me, enemies of my profession, conquer, your, conquer them for me, in the name of Jesus, release your angels to conquer them for me, can I ask you to pray this prayer next, that all evil angels that are warring against me, O oh God, all demons that have been sacrificed to and they are they are doing obeisance to those who sacrifice to them and they are warring against me in my dreams and they are warring against me in real life lord of hosts release this mighty angels let it be angel versus angel let it be angel versus angel let it be angel versus angel all dark angels let them see the power of the good angels that are under your command in the name of jesus angels of god arise at the commandment of God like they arose at the commandment of God for Daniel and they defeated the prince of Persia. Can I ask you to pray tonight? Save my father, save my father, save my father, all dark angels in the name of Jesus, all princes of Persia that are warring against me, that are fighting against me. Oh Lord, angel versus angel, good angel versus evil angel, and the good angels will always win. The mighty angels under the command of God will always win. Let them fight my battles for me, let them win for me. Let them fight my battles for me, let them win for me. Let them fight my battles for me, let them win for me. Oh Lord, summon your angels to surround me, oh God. Even as they surround your throne, let them surround me, let them 
protect me. Let them surround me. Let them protect me as they surround you, O God. The Bible says in the name of Jesus that the fire of God, the angels of God, they surround them that fear him. Father, from now on, let me feel the presence of angels around me, O God. When I sleep and spirit husbands want to come, let your angels drive them away. When I sleep and spirit wives want to come, let your angels drive them away. When I sleep and the devil wants to come into the room and practice witchcraft on me, mighty angels, war around me, war around me, war around me. Oh Lord God, 24-7, 24-7, my father, my father, my father, my father, you are the great warrior. You are the mighty God of hosts. Let your angels surround my, 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 my bed. Let them surround my desk in the office. Let them surround my car when I drive. Let them surround me anywhere I go and everywhere I go. Let them protect my wife. Let them protect my husband. Let them protect my children. Let them protect my parents. Open your mouth and pray to the Lord of hosts. These are the things he does as the Lord of hosts. You know when we pray about Jehovah Jireh, we say provider. That time we never prayed anything but provision, 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 provision. His name said is the provider and then we pray, provide, provide, provide. But here we are tonight, oh, we are not asking for provision. We are asking for protection. In the name of Jesus, Lord of hosts, raise up your army, you Lord, to surround me, to surround my children, to surround my grandchildren, to surround my great-grandchildren, to surround everything you have blessed me with. 24-7, 24-7, protection, angels of God, protection, 24-7, give it to us. Father, we don't have any amulets, oh, we don't have any food around our waist, we don't have any marks in our backs, we only have you, the one that was nailed to the cross, the mark is on you. Father, mark us for protection, mark us for protection, in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, oh God of angels, raise up your angels for us tonight. Let them be a wall around every member of my family. Come on, open your mouth. Many of us have our children gone to college. Many of them have gone to uh, to school. Many of them have gone overseas. Many of them are with us here. I want you to pray uh, that wherever your children are tonight, uh, the wall of angels, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, from the God of hosts, uh, from the Lord of hosts, uh, shall be all around your children. Every member of your family Family, whether they are with you or they are far away from you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray for a wall that sickness cannot penetrate. Come on, open your mouth. A wall that coronavirus cannot penetrate. A wall that cholera cannot penetrate. A wall that malaria cannot penetrate. Papa, surround me with angels. Angels that will drive sickness away. Angels that will drive infections away. Angels that will drive attacks away. Papa station them, let them not leave. Papa station them, let them not leave. Let them form a wall around me, a wall that sickness cannot penetrate, a wall that death cannot penetrate, a wall that destruction cannot penetrate, a wall that sickness cannot penetrate, a wall that disease cannot penetrate, a wall that failure cannot penetrate. Angels of God, the Lord of hosts has summoned you for me. The Lord of hosts has summoned you concerning me. Be around me. So Surround me, be around me, surround me. The Lord of hosts commands you right now. Form a wall, a thick wall, an impregnable wall, an impenetrable wall, a wall that sickness cannot penetrate, a wall that witches cannot penetrate, a wall that wizards cannot penetrate, a wall that marine powers cannot penetrate. Angels of God, form them around me. Angels of God, form them around me. Mighty walls that even death and destruction and hardship will not be able to penetrate in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, a world that poverty cannot penetrate, a world that hardship cannot penetrate. In the name of Jesus, a world that failure cannot penetrate. Angels of God, angels of God, surround me, surround me, surround me. In the name of Jesus, we told you that God is the God is the Lord of hosts. God is the Lord of hosts for the angels. Those are his hopes. But I also told you that the moons and the stars, the waters and all these other 
created beings. They are all under the control of the Lord of hosts. I want you to pray that all the multitude that God has created will arise and fight your battles for you in the name of Jesus. You know, Joshua knew that. That was why he looked up and he told the son, he said, stay where you are. Dissolve the moon. Stay where you are. The Lord of hosts has a battle to fight. I want you to pray tonight. Say, my father, my father, my Lord of hosts, let the moon and the stars, the waters and the ground be summoned to fight my battles for me, O God. Did you hear those four things that I said? The moon, the stars, the waters, the ground, let them be summoned to fight for me. They fought for Moses. They fought for Aaron when Korah, Dathan, and Abiram decided to fight them. The Bible says the land, the ground opened up and swallowed them. I want you to pray, O oh Lord, let the moon and the stars begin to fight for me in their causes. Let the waters and even the ground we are standing on be summoned to fight my battles for me, O oh God. Swallow them up where they are saying incantations. Swallow their demons up, O oh God. In short, O oh Lord, all the hosts that you have created, open your mouth and pray tonight. Say my Father, say my Father, all the hosts that you have created, let them rise up against the hosts that are fighting against me. I said, oh Lord, all the hosts that you have created, make them to rise up, make them to stand up, to fight against all the hosts that are fighting me, to fight against all the hosts that are warring against me. Oh Lord, all the hosts that you have created, right, they call you the Lord of hosts, and whoever those hosts are, as if we didn't know them, oh Lord. Lord, let all these hosts that you have created, let these hosts that are underneath your command, let them rise up, all your created hosts, let them rise up and fight all the hosts of the wicked one, all the human hosts that are fighting my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are the warrior. Which war, 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 which war. Say, oh Lord of hosts, which war against forces that are waging, that are waging sin wars, that are waging on sin wars against any area of my life right now this minute from today on let your power let your power as a lord of sabbath as a lord of hosts begin to fight begin to war begin to fight begin to war against forces that are waging sin wars and unseen wars felt wars and unfelt wars against any area of my life open your mouth and pray please please pray please pray please pray, please pray that every area of your life that you know what is going on at any area of your life that you may not even know that war is going on, where there is war. Oh Lord God, raise up forces in the name of Jesus to wage war against them. Lord, the Bible calls you a man of war. The Bible calls you a man of war. Father, take over my wars for me. Take over my wars for me. Take over my wars for me. Oh Lord, if you are truly the, 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 the man of war, if you are truly the God of war, now arise in your name and fight and take over, take over my wars for me, O oh Lord. Wars against the flesh, wars against witchcraft, wars against poverty, wars against marital problems. All wars that are facing me, all battles that are facing me, O oh Lord, you are the God of war. You are the warlike God. Father, arise and war against them, O oh Lord, and drag them on the ground and stomp them on your feet and give me the victory in the name of Jesus. Papa, give me the victory in the name of Jesus. Take over my wars. Father, my wars are many. Take them over from tonight. Wars with my flesh. Wars against witchcraft. Wars against poverty. Wars against business failure. Wars against marital failure. All kinds of wars. Jehovah Sabbath, fight for me. Jehovah Sabbath, fight for me. You are the Lord over natural forces too. Lord, you are the Lord over natural forces. Begin to use them to fight my battles for me, begin to use natural forces to fight my battles for me, in the name of Jesus, uh, let the powers that are fighting me feel your thunder, let them feel your lightning, uh, let your thunder and your lightning uh, chase away uh, all evil hosts uh, that are warring against me, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, set your fire, set your lightning, set your fire, set your flame, set your fire, set your lightning, set your flame, uh, against the powers of the evil hosts uh, that are warring against my life, in the name of Jesus. Did you know what the Bible says God is? <laughs> Did you know who the Bible says God is? The Bible says God is 
a consuming fire. That's what the Bible says. Say, O Lord of hosts, open your name, mouth. Say, O Jehovah Sabbath, you are the consuming fire. Say, send out your fire, send out your flame. Put out, put out all the armies that are warring against me. In the name of Jesus, let there be a dividing line between me and all forces that are advancing against my life. Let your fire do it. Let your flame do it. You are the consuming fire. Father, all their weapons. I bring them before you. All the weapons that have been used against me right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I said all the weapons that are being used against me right now, Papa, consume them with fire. Papa, consume them with fire. Papa, consume them with fire. All the weapons that are from the trees, all the weapons that are from the roots of trees, all the weapons that have used animals as sacrifices, whatever it is, the blood that has been shed, I said all the weapons, all the weapons that are being used, your fire, your flame, consume them, consume their weapons, let it be of none effect against me any longer in the name of Jesus, all these weapons, let them be of none effect against anyone on this prayer line, whatever weapon has worked against you, may the fire of God consume them, whatever weapon has worked against you, may the fire of God destroy them, may the flame issue forth and destroy the forces that are advancing against your life, and I pray concerning the demons. Let's pray right now. Say every demonic power that has been sent against me, oh Lord, let your fire chase them. Let your fire chase them. You know the Bible talks in, I believe it's Psalm 35, how the angels of God will chase them. I want you to pray the fire of God, the angels of God, the flame of God will chase every demonic activity that is going on around you right now. Nobody sees fire and stands. Oh Lord, send your fire after the demons. Send your fire after witchcraft powers. Send your power after witchcraft messengers that are assigned against my life. All the causes that have been issued, let your fire lap them and destroy them. Oh Lord of hosts, use your fire to fight for me. Oh Lord of hosts, use your flame to fight witchcraft tonight. In the name of Jesus, say I fight the powers of witchcraft with the flame of God, with the fire of God be put out. Witchcraft flame be put out by the flame of God. Witchcraft fire be put out by the fire of God. In the name of Jesus. We really say, Oh Lord, O Jehovah Sabbath, O Jehovah Sabbath, O Jehovah Sabbath, activate, activate, come on, say activate, activate earthquake, activate rain, activate hail, activate great noise, activate storm, activate tempest against the hosts that are warring against me and mine. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, those are the weapons that the Lord of hosts uses. We read that in the book of Isaiah. Let's call upon him tonight. Say, oh Lord, call them up. You know how in America they call up the reserves. They call up the National Guard. These are the National Guards of God. These are the reserves of God. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, because your name is Jehovah Sabbath, because your name is the Lord of hosts, activate them, call them up. Spiritual earthquake, call up spiritual rain, call up rain, call up hail, call up great noise. I was amazed when I read that in the book of Isaiah that God can use great noise. Isn't that what He did in the time of Elisha when the invading army had a great noise and they ran? And it was God who manufactured that noise. There was nothing. I want you to pray. Let my enemies hear noises that will make them run and leave me alone. Let my enemies hear noises. Enemies of my children. Enemies of my business. Enemies of my ministry. Let them hear noises. Let them see storms. Let them see tempest. In the name of Jesus. Let them see earthquake. Let them see rain. Let them see hail. The same hail that came upon Sodom and Gomorrah. Let them see it and run. Let them see it and flee. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to say, oh Lord, I know you are the Lord of hosts. I want you to say it as if you didn't know it before. Say, oh Lord, I know you are the Lord of hosts. There is no one like you. You are the Lord of hosts. Say from now on, I rest in that truth. I rest in that truth that I have the Lord of hosts as my God. Just like you have Jehovah Jireh as your God. You don't need to 
worry about provision. The same way because you have Jehovah Sabbath as your God, the Lord of hosts. I want you to say, Lord, just help me to rest in that fact. Help me to rest in that truth that nothing is outside your control. Nothing is outside your capabilities in the name of Jesus because you are the Lord of hosts. Imagine how many are in his army that he commands. Oh, well, then that means that nothing is beyond his control. Nothing is beyond his power. Lord, help me to just rest in that. Help me to just have confidence in that. That nothing, nothing, nothing is too difficult for this great Lord of hosts. Just have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way. Help me walk in unshakable confidence. Are you praying this prayer tonight? Say, oh Lord, help me pray. I mean, help me walk in unshakable confidence that as Lord of hosts, you are unbeatable. Hallelujah, you are unbeatable. Hallelujah, you are unbeatable. You know, we have seen boxers who are unbeatable for a while and they got beaten. We have seen teams, sports teams, who are unbeatable for a while but they got beaten. But this God of hosts, he has never been beaten and he will never be beaten. Every war he fights, he wins. So he will not fight every war for me and win every war for me. Papa, fight every war for me and win every war for me. Say, you have the resources to give me victory, limitless victory. Say, Lord, I confess. Say, Lord, I confess. Lord of hosts, you have the resources to give me limitless victory. Say, activate them. Activate limitless victory in every area of my life. Let me feel the victory. Let me have the victory. Let me sense the victory in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord of hosts, in the name of Jesus, you are the mighty warrior who has never lost a battle. Show me one battle that God lost. Go and read the Bible. Go and read history and show me one battle that God lost. It never, never happened. God never loses any battle. I want you to say, oh Lord, you are the mighty warrior. Jehovah Sabaoth, you are the mighty warrior who has never lost a battle. Visit my lost battles. I have lost many battles. Oh Lord, revisit the battles that I've lost. Call them back and fight them, oh Lord. Let them be defeated this time. I've tried to fight in my flesh. I've tried to fight in my power. Oh Lord, I lost. But I'm calling the Lord of hosts to come. Who will summon them from the north. Summon them from the south. Summon them from the east and from the west. Visit all my lost battles and give me permanent victory tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know what? As the Lord of hosts, he rules over all things. Did you realize that? As the Lord of hosts, he rules over all all things. I want you to pray tonight, Lord, begin to rule. Begin to rule. Say, Lord, begin to rule. Say, Jehovah Sabbath, begin to rule over all the affairs of my life, over all the details of my life. Find them off. Anything that is seeking to rule me, anything that is seeking to have dominion over me, anything that is seeking to control my life, Lord, disallow. Lord, disallow. Lord, disallow. In the name of Jesus, begin to rule over them. All the details of my life, oh Lord, Lord, my financial details, my educational details, my marital details. Oh Lord, you are the Lord of hosts. You rule over all the hosts. You rule over all situations. Oh Lord, fight against them. Let them not have dominion over me. Let them not control me. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, of hosts, all my troubles, too small or great, they are not too small for you. They are not too great for you to notice. Father, notice them. Notice me. Notice them. Notice me. Notice me. Notice me. Let your eyes be on me, O Lord of hosts. Let your eyes be on me, O Lord of hosts. All my little troubles, all my big troubles. Let your eyes be on me, O God, and give me the victory over little troubles, and give me victory over big troubles. O Lord of hosts, rise up for me, O Lord, against those that are taking advantage of me and oppressing me. In the name of Jesus, those who are taking advantage of me, those who are oppressing me because they feel I'm powerless, because they feel I cannot do anything. Oh Lord, let them know I have a Lord of hosts behind me. Oh Lord, show me. Show them. Show me. Show them. Show me. Show them that you are supporting me, oh God. Those who are taking advantage of me, arise and fight against them, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Remember the scripture we read? That David waxed greater and greater. David waxed greater and greater because the Lord of hosts was with him. 
Oh Lord, let my portion be that. Let me wax greater and greater because the Lord of hosts is with me. Say, oh Lord, as Goliath fell before David when he called on the Lord of hosts, so let it be my portion. Every Goliath before me, you will fall before the Lord of hosts. He said, I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts. Say, oh Lord of hosts, let every Goliath fall before me, O God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. You will always have those who put trust in you. Oh Lord, David put his trust in you and you help him for I put my trust in you tonight always help me O Lord Lord of hosts always help me O Lord help me to always put your, my trust in you O God and to always enjoy the blessedness of putting my trust in you O God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus say Lord of hosts hear every prayer that I pray tonight O Lord of hosts answer every petition that I brought before you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, come and begin to say, Lord, I thank you, I praise you, I bless you, I worship you for answering my prayers tonight. Hallelujah! The Lord of hosts in our side, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. I bless you in the name of the Lord of hosts. I bless you in the name of Jehovah Sabaoth. May you leave this prayer line strengthened by Jehovah Sabaoth, knowing that he will fight every battle for you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Don't forget we'll be back again tomorrow night. And when you come, please come with your written prayer request because we're going to pray at the end. And tomorrow, do you know what our prayers will be on? Yeah, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Oh, tomorrow is going to be powerful. Please come so we can pray a prayer that will last us for the weekend and for the rest of our lives. Shall we share the grace as we go home tonight? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. We'll see you tomorrow night. Good night.